myth of the single plane. As far back as July 1986 in Golf Digest, Dr. Ralph Mann shows that nobody swings on a single plane. One scientific fact and observation shows why all traditional finger grips eliminate all single plane stroke claims. Every traditional golf grip is taken with a grip laying across the left palm below the pisiform bone. This automatically makes it a two-axis system between the left forearm and the shaft. Here is an anatomical bone picture showing the grip below the pisiform bone for a traditional grip. Here is Ben Hogan's left hand grip showing the grip below the pisiform bone. Here is Ben Hogan's left hand grip showing the two axis. Here is a traditional two axis showing the grip below the pisiform bone of the left hand. It is scientifically impossible to rotate a two axis system on a single plane. The next two photographs show me using a hammer and showing the rotation, the spinning upwards and backwards and straightening of the left leg in a traditional rotary golf stroke. Here is Bryson DeChambeau showing the six planes of a traditional golf swing. The shoulders are on one plane, the right upper arm is on a second plane, the right forearm is on a third plane, the hand and shaft are on a fifth plane, and the club face is rotating on a sixth plane, while the left leg is straightening up and the body is spinning back and away from the ball. Are your eyes and ears open? Can you see reality or just the false perceptions of the single plane morons? I have placed a magnet on the face of a iron so you can see the six planes of the rotary traditional swing. Dustin Johnson with the hands waist high in the downstroke. Dustin Johnson's six planes at impact. Traditional six-plane rotary mechanics. Bruce Kepka on six planes. Showing the rotary planes using a three-light light guide. Colin Morikawa at waist high on the Colin Morikawa's six-plane swing at impact. John Rahm's six-plane swing. Tiger Woods six-plane swing. Although Mo had the grip below the pisiform bone on the left hand, he had the grip up the lifeline of the right hand. This allowed him to swing on four planes rather than six planes, but Mo still had to rotate the club through 90 degrees from waist high in the downstroke to impact. This illustrates Mo's four plane swing using the light guide. Mo had to rotate the club face into the plane. He then sat into his knees and then took, rotated out of the plane. Here is Moe's four plane swing with forearm rotation using a iron with a magnet attached to the face. To swing on a single plane, the grip must be taken in the lifeline of both hands. 
When you do this, you can take the club straight up and down on plane with zero club face rotation. Please do not send this URL to the scam creeps claiming Mo Norman swings on a single plane. I have no interest in responding to their vile comments. I am providing this information for my subscribers. I want you to have access to logical scientific knowledge.